of electromagnetic induction. Prepare a circular coil out of copper wire. Connect the two ends of this coil to the two terminals of a sensitive galvanometer with a scale having zero at the center. This closed circuit is shown in the diagram. Note that this circuit contains no source of electricity and the galvanometer shows zero reading initially. Take a bar magnet NS and move it swiftly towards the coil with its north pole facing the coil. You will observe a deflection in the galvanometer when the magnet is moving. The deflection indicates that current is set up in the coil. Now, move the magnet away from the coil. The galvanometer shows again a deflection, but in the opposite direction. This means current is set up in the opposite direction. If you hold the magnet with its south pole facing the coil and repeat the above steps, the deflections are again observed, but are reversed. Similarly, motion of the coil itself also produces deflections in the galvanometer when the magnet is kept stationary. Do you observe any deflection when you just hold the magnet stationary near the coil at rest? No. A relative motion of a magnet and a coil induces the current in the coil. The current produced by a relative motion of the coil or the magnet is called an induced current and is said to be set up by an induced electromotive force, EMF. The production of an induced EMF in a coil in a closed circuit by the relative motion of a magnet and its coil is called the phenomenon of electromagnetic induction.